What's good, y'all? This is Dez back with another one, you know what I'm saying? Now, in this video, I'm gonna be paying tribute to, you know what I'm saying, man. All the, the only time I ever heard about this guy was, you know what I'm saying, when they made the movie about him, you know what I'm saying? At first, I thought it was just Ray Rufus, but then, you know, I found out it was a real person, but I was just like, man, but just that movie, then, man, the movie was so powerful, so I had to, go, like, actually go look up, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, hey, let me check this guy, you know what I'm saying? Person who I'm referring to in this video, who I'm about to pay tribute to, you know what I'm saying, is, is the uh, great, uh, well, he, yeah, he did pass away, but the late great Carl Bashir, you know what I'm saying? He was the first ever black uh, master Navy diver in the, um, in the Navy, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, yeah, definitely paying, paying homage to him, man, because, like, bro, his story, it's just like, man, like, his upbringing was, you know what I'm saying? I think it was back in the 40s, yeah, so, yeah, his upbringing was, you know what I'm saying? It was you nothing know, bad, you nothing know, so like majority of them. But at the same time, like I said, he grew up. You know what I'm saying? He became something. You know what I'm saying? Of course, back then they had race to try to stop him, but now nah, he ain't let that stop him. And then he had another little incident. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah, he lost his leg. That that still ain't stopping him. Yeah, he 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 put on you know, he put on prosthetic one. He was like, hey, keep going. And yeah, he kept doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Definitely paying homage to him. So, like I said, I'm just going to get my own personal opinions on it. So, if you're interested, definitely keep watching. So, without further ado, we're going to get into it. This is Seaman Carl Brashear when he joined the Navy in 1949. Shortly thereafter, Carl decided he wanted to become a deep sea diver. This was not to be easy for a young black man in a predominantly white Navy 30 years ago. The first time I seen a deep sea diver was down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Hmm. So after seeing that dog going down the water, man, I thought that was the best thing since sliced bread. Mm -hmm. And I was just a deep sea helmet. So I come into question how I could be a deep sea diver. So part of that time, they didn't have any colored divers in the Navy. So they give me a little run around, give me a little hassle. Yep, yep. A little double talk here and there, you know. Mm -hmm. and finally told me, well, we've been in touch with the diving school and was told there was no colored divers. But back in them days, they were using colored divers. Such a thing as black. Well, young Carl was determined. Right. He kept trying and trying until he was finally accepted in diving school. Mm -hmm. Carl told us it won't be difficult to locate him in his class picture. He said it won't be difficult. <laughs> to graduate out of right. school in Bayonne, New Jersey. Carl Brashear did become a frog man and made hundreds of successful dives until one day there was an accident. Yep. Right. <laughs> they got the rocky uh, music playing. And when somebody tell me I can't do something, they just make me work that much harder and show them I can do it. Carl went back to work. He was determined to get his strength back and prove yep. he was still fit, not only to remain in the Navy, but to keep diving. Hmm. Yeah, buddy. He made it. But what's more, he became a Master Chief Petty Officer mm -hmm. and diving instructor for all the Navy divers. If I hadn't have been a diver, I wouldn't have been in the Navy today. It's been in more than 30 years. That's how great it's been to be. That's how much I love it. Carl Brashear has been an inspiration to everyone with whom he has come in contact. This season, he is the first guest star in a new series called Comeback. And there's a motion yeah. picture in the works about the life of Master Chief yep. Carl Brashear. Men of Honor, that's what it's called. Hey, yeah, you have it on now, you know what I'm saying, man. Like I said, the first time I was ever, uh, like, introduced to him was, you know what I'm saying, from the movie Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Men of Honor, you know what I'm saying, with Cuba Gooden Jr. in it, you know what I'm saying. But the first time I watched it, like I said, I watched everything, you know. Sometimes you got to watch a movie a couple of times to actually, like, really get into it, get into it, and then... Just what happened, like, you know what I'm saying, when I, when I, I think it was the, 
maybe the fourth time I was watching it, but at the same time, like I said, as I watched it and see what, you know what I'm saying, what happened with him, like, I was kind of going through, it, ain't, it wasn't a similar situation, it was basically, I hurt myself to where, you know what I'm saying, I had to get surgery, and then I was in a wheelchair for a month, and yeah, it was, yeah, I, I, I'll put that, like, that's gonna be a story time later on, but you know what I'm saying, but it just happened, like I said, when I was doing my rehab, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I, that's for some reason, like, this movie, like, kept coming on on TV, so, of course, me, you know, hey, I'm, <laughs> I guess it was a good movie, but then, as I was going through something, something kind of like that, you know what I'm saying, it was just like, damn, like, it really, like, that's what, really, like, really, like, you know what I'm saying, motivated me to want to, like, okay, get better, you know what I'm saying, because, like I said, I, like, I didn't have to, I didn't have to get anything amputated or anything, it was just like, I hurt myself so bad to, uh, yeah. Like, like I said, for a month after surgery, I, I, I had to be in a wheelchair, you know, so it's just like, yeah. Definitely, like I said, yeah, you definitely appreciate more, like I said, when something like that happens, you definitely appreciate, you know what I'm saying, and I say having all your limbs, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't like to say the word having all your limbs, but you know what I'm saying? You definitely appreciate your body, you know what I'm saying, way more, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, because like I say, man, whew, yeah, but like I say, when this, you, know, you never know how much you're going to appreciate it until it's taken away, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, definitely. Like I say, even with that, like I say, they ain't stopping him, like I say, yeah. I don't know, in the movie, they say, like, he, he said had his leg, but, you know, he requested it be cut off, but I think I read it in real life, now. it was just, like, it was so badly damaged, like, they had to cut it off, you know what I'm saying? So, but, like, they say, yeah, he ain't, they ain't stop him, he was just like, nah, okay. Well, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, just give me a, pro I mean, they probably going to give me one anyway, but, yeah, just give me a prosthetic leg, you know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to get back to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> doing what I do, you know what I'm saying, so, of course, like I said, they tried to doubt him and all that, but, like, he can't, he, but he was already, you know what I'm saying, looking at his body and talking about, oh, yeah, you was, you was physically, like, you was built, oh, yeah, physically, I wasn't worried about you, me personally, looking at it, like, nah, I wasn't personally worried about you, you know what I'm saying, I was just, like, watch it closely, but at the same time, you shit, man, if you ain't showing no type of, like, you know what I'm saying, hesitancy or, you know what I'm saying, weakness, oh, yeah, man, you good, get back out there, you know what I'm saying, but, like I say, he got back out there. Like I say, he was diving. Like I say, he became a master diver, the first, you know, what I'm saying African American to become one. Then I like say he was a diving uh, instructor and all that. You know, what I'm saying. Then, like, let's say, yeah, he, you know, what I'm saying eventually he he had a movie based off of him, which is you know, Men of Honor. So yeah, like I say, yeah, definitely, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna definitely pay give my, you know, what I'm saying give him his flowers. You know, what I'm saying I think he had passed uh, a couple of years ago. I remember I seen that. You know, what I'm saying I was just like, hey. He had already done enough, you know what I'm saying? He had been he had been retired, like he was happily retired, like so he probably was just living out the rest of his life, you know what I'm saying? Just living his just living his best life, you know. Like I said, but like I said, we all gotta go one day, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, while he was here, he did enough. So I said, I'm definitely give you giving, you know what I'm saying, you your flowers and paying tribute to it. Like I said, definitely rest in peace, man. Like I said, yo, yo, yo come back story, man. Like I say, I don't be knowing to you because I never met him, but you know what I'm saying, yeah, just watching that movie, yeah, like I said, and I was going through something like that, it's like, yeah, oh yeah, that definitely, you know what I'm helped me get back to where I am today, you know what I'm saying, so definitely, hey, rest in peace, you know. But like I said, all my whole thoughts and opinions on that, you know what I'm saying, so like I said, like, comment, subscribe, also share my videos, whatever you want to do, but if you can do, I'm down with it, regardless, you feel me, so, till my next video, y'all already know what it is, I'll see y'all in a minute.